Morning folks, Phil here from Telford Cord Pond. Um, scruff's on again because it's going to be uh, doing jobs around the pond day today. Um, just a quick one. You would have seen in one of my previous videos what I did to um, start getting the holding tank up and running. Um, so today basically I'll show you the update what I've done to the tank already and then we'll get it commissioned by taking the um, media out of the individual unit in the filter house and putting it in the uh, grant tank. So fish and everything are, uh, are doing well. Um, obviously uh, my Goshki there, my disappearing Benny Goshki is still doing absolutely fine other than the fact all his uh, his height is uh, disappearing again nothing wrong with him at all but yeah just a just a real shame that happened um, I've sort of drawn a conclusion on that one I'm just putting it down to experience down to genetics uh, and move on basically so yeah fish are happy so I'll uh, snap back to you in a bit so the holding tank, as you can see, there's water being run through the uh, filter, but there's nothing actually in the filter at the minute, it's just testing it. Um, it's all finished. I think I was uh, just making the cover last time, so obviously made a, made a cover to fit now, so that'll keep the fish in or keep the thing down. What I did do um, yesterday, and I just forgot to film at all, when I put the, um, when, I, when I commissioned this in the first place, put a different pump on it, and I just decided it was too powerful, there was just too much water coming through here. So yesterday I've just swapped the pump over, so that's a different pump on it at the moment. If that's uh, something like a thousand, I can't remember, but it is something like a thousand litres, it's, it's a lot less and the flow's the flows much, much better in there. And also I was able to put up that corner so at least the water's got some sort of room to circulate. You'll probably notice that I've also got my heater back up and plugged in and running. Um, reason for that obviously is I need to get this water up to the same temperature as the pond before I um, put any of those fish back in here. Um, so that's heating up at the moment. Um, so yeah, as I say it's working. The only thing that uh, is missing is there's no, uh, there's all, no bacteria in there. The fold of the sponge is over. So next job will be to get the, uh, get the bacteria that's been kept alive in the Build the house and put it in here so we're, uh, we're all ready to go. So uh, it's not back to you when we're in there. So in the filter house, um, as I just mentioned, the, the media that's in the uh, box filter out there has been kept alive in here. Um, well, that's not been in commission, so I'll just take this out. Just hook that over there. That's the trickle in, but I'd. Uh, make sure it doesn't come off anywhere so I just move the uh, pond guardian probes out of the way so the filter media as you can see is, uh, is in these baskets and these baskets are absolutely brilliant because you can literally just uh, pull them out so I'm gonna take these outside just give them a rinse just put them in a bucket of pond water and the same for the other one so there's just two, two catches on here that you release. And then the whole thing uh, comes out slowly to try and not make too much of a mess in here. As you can see, there is some rubbish coming out of it. There we go. So I'm just going to take these out and uh, clean them all up with a quick swill. And then I'm going to, um, I'll take you over there and show you and be put back into the other thing. So I'll cut back to you in a minute. So just take the, uh, the lid off this. It just sort of hangs on the back. Make it, make it ready. Just get the filters out. They just uh, sit on top of the, the media. So you've got, we've got brushes in the first part. Let's take all this out so you can see it properly. Dead simple design. The water's pumped up, goes through the heater, and then into, into the lid of this unit, and it comes out through the UV, and then it comes out here into this chamber. And in that chamber, you've just got three brushes. So there's the first stage of mechanical filter, just to catch any uh, any big bits. The, the, the chamber in the middle here is sort of suspended inside, so the water goes through the brushes, it actually comes down the bottom, 
underneath the chamber in the middle and then it comes up through this section here and in that section there you've got more mechanical filtration because you've got two big uh, sponges in there and then the water comes through there and then it comes through these holes here the biomedia is in there and then it, there's, there's a hole right at the bottom of this uh, this pipe here and it sucks up and comes through there so that's it so all we need to do basically is fill that full of uh, biological media now in the uh, in the individual unit i've got a combination of these big plastic balls that came actually with this i'm not not a big fan of to be honest with you but media is media so i've kept it alive um these zip bags by the way ebay specials you can get them in all shapes and uh, all shapes and sizes whatever you want to do they are great for keeping your media in anyway so let's just uh, let's see what we've got in here because all this isn't going to fit so what i'm really looking for is these little bags so i remember when i was doing this i uh I ran out to little bags, so uh, one of Claire's stockings got hammered and I put it and put some in there. <laughs> so anyway, these just literally you, you just sort of arrange them in the in the bottom of here how you uh, how you think best. I'm trying not to use the big ones at the minute, I'll leave them to last. I think there might be all big ones left. In there. There so I don't think there's any uh, any rhyme or reason for these. Just sort of place them so they're nice and flat. Take much more to be honest. So I'll probably take that one out. Put that one there. One more, perhaps. I might be uh, might be stopping the sponges doing their job if I put any more in. To be honest, so I'll take that one back out. Because the idea of the sponges, obviously, is they trap the last bit of. Uh, crap that uh, does sneak through so the fine sponge goes on first and then the, uh, the thicker sponge goes on second and, and obviously the idea is that that just traps all the ammo sits on the top and that just uh, traps the last bits of rubbish that uh, that sneak through and that's it that's uh, that's ready to go I'll put the top back on Turn it back on in the filter house and you should see the uh, the water room. It's alive. Out. So that clean that water now is going through the brushes across the bottom up through the farms through the farms in there and then past the uh, the buyer and that is it. Put the lid on so any leaves blowing in. So I'm just going to wait for that now to. Uh, to heat up to the same uh, sort of temperature as the pond and then I'm going to start um, putting some fish in here because as you know the whole point of this is I want to fit out the, uh, the fish in my pond so uh, once I'm ready to do the next bit I'll come back to you. Cheers. So I've just finished off with the um, holding tank that's all running uh, wonderfully now as I say I'm just literally waiting for it to come up to temperature so effectively that's done it's got active bio uh, in the filter in the black box filter so um, 
hopefully that will serve its purpose it did me well all through the winter when I was holding a lot of fish in there so we'll see uh, the question now is what do we do with these so these are the baskets that come out of the individual units that were had all the um, ceramic medium that I was keeping alive so a um, bit of an experiment this could be a complete and abject failure or it could be a roaring success I wanted to try K1 or K plus sinking media so at the mid staffs show uh, last two days yesterday speaking to the ladies on the Koi Collective I've got a mental block the ladies from the Koi Collective they had some of this uh, there and they did me an absolutely cracking deal so I thought I'm gonna try you know what, I'm gonna try it so the plan is as I say it might be a huge failure the plan is literally just to fill these baskets up with K plus sinking media and put them back in the individual units so that will give me I don't know about another 20 litres 30 litres perhaps I don't know how big these baskets are of um, of media um, you know the more the merrier so all I've done so far because I didn't know whether it sank straight away or whether you had to soak it or whatever to, to make it sink but I've put um, I've tipped a load into this bucket and as you can see the vast majority of it has sunk there's no top on these baskets so I dare say these odd bits will sink eventually but I'm just going to take them out for now and use them in my next basket because um, obviously I don't want anything floating off inside the uh, individual unit so anything that's floating I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to net out and I'll let them soak a bit longer I think that's about it one two three there we go so, jug. This could get extremely messy. So I'm just going to jug this into there. Now this could take some time. So do you want to pop back when I've done? So I'm not going to fill these right up to the top at the minute because I am, I'm expecting a bit of uh, floatage. So let's get them in and see what happens. Yeah, they are floating again I think by the looks of it because they will have um, obviously got some air inside them. So I don't mind them floating until they sink, let's just leave that uh, on there for now. See if they just sink naturally. Because obviously what I will do if they, if they do sink naturally, I'll just um, fill it up again to the top with, uh, with sinking stuff once, once it's done. That one's actually gonna, oh yeah they will, they'll come out won't they? If I... Well, as I say, it is an experiment, so let's uh, let's give them time to do whatever it is they're going to do. And I'll uh, I'm going to fill the other one. In for a penny, in for a pound. So I'll start filling this one up, and obviously I'll come back to you again once, uh, once this one's filled. filled. So I've not filled this one up so much just so I can uh, try and help it to sink a bit. So it sank okay in the uh, in the bucket outside. It just took about sort of 10, 15 minutes to, to all drop. So I'm just gonna leave it. Let's just uh, turn those knobs in so it's got something to sit on. Put the same on that one as well. And let's just see how long it takes to uh, plop down as it were and I'll come back to you once it's uh, actually sunk so here we are 20 minutes later um, yeah that was an interesting experience K1 uh, K plus sinking doesn't sink instantly I would imagine it's still got to mature slightly or whatever it seemed to sink in the in the blue bucket but when I 
um, jugged it into the basket to put the basket in it all floated up again so <laughs> this is my Heath Robinson attempt at keeping it in place so what I've had to do as you can see put it in the basket and I've just put uh, cut up a tea towel just put tea towel over the top just to try and hold all the media in um, but even then when the drum sinks to its lowest point and then fills up again um, obviously this puts more pressure on and, and they've still got media sneaking down the outside so as a temporary measure players donated some of the best Marks and Spencer's pottery <laughs> as you can see they're not their old plates um, but yeah I'm just uh, all I've done on all I'm doing with these old plates is just putting them on top of there and they just sort of fit, fit over the actual hole perfectly so it just adds a bit more weight to the top and if something does escape out the side past the, uh, the cut up tea towel that I've got in there then obviously it'll just sit under, under there because my big concern is that stuff floating out and then and then eventually sinking and as it sinks down obviously the impellers for the two pumps are in there and I don't want to get it sucked in the impellers so yeah I mean it's uh, we'll come back to it next week and see if there's been any change sort of thing but that's where we are for now so those two baskets are full of K plus sinking um, I've put what media I could put in in the holding tank and what I couldn't, what was left, I just literally put in the middle of there in, in baskets, sorry, in uh, in those carrier bag things just to obviously keep it alive in case I have to do something else and obviously it's, it's all else, wasn't it? So I'm going to call it a day there. Um, let's call this an experiment and we'll come back uh, next weekend and we'll see if it's sunk or anything's happened to it. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>